You don't need to limit yourself with one wrap. We can do a few, and I'll show you that now. Take in your trim color again. You're going to start the process off the same way. Take in your trim color. Slide it under the base again. And sometimes you may want to just take a bit of tape and stick down that tag in so you don't wrap over it. We'll just put a few wraps of the base color down. Secure it in place once again. And if it's more than one wrap, I like to then slide my thread carriage to the right a bit. So when I take my trim color and fold it over, it's out of the road a bit more. So we'll go down for one, just using your fingers to slide that back down. Two, finish off with one more. Three. Folding it back underneath your base color so it holds it in place. And as you go, it's probably a good idea just to use your thread to help move and squash your trim colors back down. But again, you can use your fingernail once you've secured it in place with your base color. So that's there and I'll just tidy that up while once again fixing the transition by pulling down on both ends to make it look as minimal as possible. Finally, trimming off the tag ends. Again, pulling on that tag end so we can get a bit of thread separation. Just enough I can put the blade down between, cutting it off. To finish, just make sure your thread tags are all hidden. And that's a three wrap trim.